Fox News discussed Obama's defeat on the TPP in Congress, and commentator George Will launched some hilariously stupid attacks on progressive Democrats. Major defeat that House Democrats handed President Obama, not on the trade deal, but on the ability to ever negotiate a trade deal, the fast-track authority so he could submit a deal that Congress would either have to vote up or down but couldn't uh, amend. Uh, we're going to play for you Nancy Pelosi shocking a lot of people by announcing she was going to vote against the president and then President Obama this weekend saying he's going to keep at it. Here they are. I will be voting today to slow down the fast track to get a better deal. Whatever the deal is with other countries, we want a better deal for America's workers. And if I did not think that smart new trade deals were the right thing to do for working families, I wouldn't be fighting for it. This is the right thing to do. George, what happened in the House this week? And what does it say about President Obama's clout in this town, and especially with members of his own party in the House? He has on Capitol Hill all the friends he has earned and deserves, which means that that cohort is vanishingly small. It is reliably reported that when he went up for his 45-minute soliloquy, I guess, to the Democratic caucus. And let me just say, on Friday, he made, and it's a, yes. usually a big deal, the president gets on the motorcade, goes up from the White House up to Capitol Hill, and meets with the House Democratic caucus, all the Democratic members. And he told them he hopes they will play it straight. Now, that's exactly the language he used, speaking in Germany about the Supreme Court on the Obamacare, that he hopes the Supreme Court will play it straight. That's not just a verbal tick of his. It's his way of saying that if you don't agree with me, you're not straight, you're crooked. That is, you have bad motives. It's been his theme all along to insult people by saying you cannot disagree with me honestly and intellectually. So that's what we're left with. The Democrats today are a very curious mixture of the radical and the reactionary. They're radical in the sense that the whole party wants to change the First Amendment, for example, to, to amend the Bill of Rights to make it less protective. Reactionary... Yeah, that, that's, you're talking there about campaign finance, campaign correct? Campaign finance, yes. yes okay. That they want the, to empower the government to regulate speech about the composition and comportment of the government. Right. That's what they want to do. And reactionary, they are now like the 19th century Republican Party, which got prosperous and fat by protectionism by awarding benefits to various factions and constituents by using tariffs and resistance to free trade. There are so many parts of that that are really telling. First of all, when he initially starts to attack Obama, those are his first comments, George Will starts attacking Obama. Then he realizes that, oh, wait, 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 my wire's crossed, I have my talking points all screwed up. I'm actually not against Obama on the TPP. I'm on his side on the TPP. So then what does he do? He realizes he screwed up, and then he transitions to, I'll attack the progressive Democrats who are attacking Obama. So again, he actually agrees with Obama. That's really telling because it shows you what Fox News does. Fox News 101 is just attack Democrats and attack Obama nonstop. And George Will forgets at the beginning that I'm on the side of Obama, so he starts to attack him, and then he's like, oh, wait, no, i got to transition here to attack the Democrats who are attacking Obama. So, you know, it shows you that his head is out in la-la land, and he just went right to his talking points, and his talking points didn't fit the scenario. But then, it, notice, when he moves on to attack the progressive Democrats, he accuses them of stuff that he's guilty of, and the Republicans are guilty of. He's like, oh, these Democrats, these progressive Democrats, you know, all they are is uh, reactionaries and radicals today. The progressive Democrats are radicals and reactionaries. No, you know what radical is? Radical is being on the side of billionaires and big corporations against the overwhelming majority of the American population and being on the side of them even if what they want will lead to the loss of hundreds of thousands if not millions of jobs in America and driving down our wages. That's radical. What you want is radical. You're in favor of the new American oligarchy. That's radical. An oligarchy is radical. Democracy is a founding principle. That is not radical. So he's calling you radical. Meanwhile, he supports money in politics and he just said, well, the Democrats are trying to change the First Amendment. No, they're not. The Democrats are trying to bring it back to what the actual intent of the First Amendment was. The First Amendment wasn't about unlimited corruption and bribery in politics. But George Will is acting like it is about that. George Will is acting like 
that's the non-radical position. No, again, you're on the side of what is radical. You want to have, you know, an, an open system of bribery and corruption in America. You want to make it so only the billionaires have a voice. And you have the nerve, you have the goal to say that the people who want a true representative democracy are the bad people, are the crazy people, are the radical people. And then also on protectionism. He's like, well, you know, the Democrats got rich off of protectionism. What the fuck are you talking about? Now, protectionism is not outsourcing jobs, not doing so-called free trade. So in other words, pre-NAFTA, pre-GATT, pre the WTO, pre-normalized trade relations with China, we had protectionism. And all that means is you have tariffs. So if, if goods are shipped in from another country, they're taxed to the point that it's about equal to what the goods uh, cost that are made here in America. And this way you incentivize people to buy American, and when they do that, you have more American jobs that are created. So protectionism is pro-America. Protectionism is not radical or reactionary. Again, you're the person that's radical and you're the person that's reactionary.